back end of a day-night doubleheader between the Red Sox and the Royals. Pick it up bottom two, the Royals on top, one nothing until Mike Napoli changes that with one big swing. A game-tying solo home run off Jeremy Guthrie, and it's now a one-to-one game. Later in the inning, it's a man at first for Mike Carp. Carp goes the other way, and he plays a little wall ball. Off the monster it goes. Jared Salt to the Machia scores all the way from first base on the ribby double, and the Red Sox jump on top two to one. That takes us to the fifth. It's now 3-2 Boston. Alex Gordon digging in, facing Alan Webster in Webster's Major League debut. Gordon to left field and deep, and this game is tied at three. Courtesy of Gordon's first long ball of the season. Bottom five now, two men aboard for Mike Napoli, who stays red hot. That's a tie-breaking RBI single off Guthrie. Daniel Nava scores, and the Red Sox retake the lead 4-3. to three. Top of the eighth we go, still 4-3. It is Billy Butler at the plate, facing Koji Uihara. There's a drive, and that's a way back. That's up there, and Billy Butler has just sent it out to tie the game at four. It was just a matter of time before... We saw a Billy Bomb. First run, Uihara has given up all season. Bottom nine, man at second for the Red Sox. Two men away, Calvin Herrera intentionally walking Dustin Pedroia to get to the Red Hot Napoli, who already has three hits out of the night. Questionable strategy, you might say, but it does work out. Napoli sends it deep to center, but it dies on the track. We go to extras tied at four. In the top of the tenth, the Royals threatening. They've got the bases loaded against Andrew Miller. Two men away. Miller facing Lorenzo Kane, and it's ball four. Kane walks on four pitches. Gordon scores the go-ahead run, and the Royals on top, five to four. That takes us bottom ten. Greg Holland facing Mike Carp, and Carp swinging a miss. He goes down on three pitches as Holland strikes out the side, and the Royals sweep the day-night twin bill with a 5-4-10 inning win in game two. It's the first time the Royals have swept a doubleheader at Fenway Park since 1971. Allen Webster with a no decision after yielding three runs, two earned in six innings of work in his Major League debut. He struck out five. He was optioned back to AAA Pawtucket following the game.